Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, we're going to be continuing our Git and GitHub series, learning all about GitHub issues, what they are, how we can create them, and how to tackle them with GitHub. Let's get started. So first thing first, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go to the issues panel of my project. And over here is a very nice layout for any user or any project member to open, report, and document anything that's wrong or can be improved with the project. So it's a very nice way to hold yourself accountable for tasks that you have to do or need to do in the future. So what I'm going to go ahead and do guys is create a new issue with this green button right over here. And let's imagine that some outsider saw our shopping list and was like, Hey, I want you to add walnuts to the shopping list. So I'm going to go ahead and say, please add walnuts to shopping list. Now let's say that the user specifically wanted a type of walnut known as the English walnut. Okay. So let's go ahead and go from there. And right now, all the user told us was please add walnuts to your shopping list. Now, let's say they wanted to add an image of a walnut. So they can do one of two things. They can make a plain text or they can spice things up using something known as GitHub Markdown. So I have that open in the next page. But if I scroll down, you can see over here that there's different ways to beautify your text, lists, images, headers, and quotes all through this simple GitHub Markdown. I'll cover a quick couple of examples right now. Um, first thing first, you can use double asterisks, which is shift eight on your keyboard, and then be like, I want walnuts, double asterisks to close it. You can also embed images into your sort of um, description. If I go to my downloads and then walnut.jpg and upload that, I can immediately see that, okay, that's been uploaded. And if I go to preview, I want walnuts, and this is the walnut image. There's also other things supported, guys. You can do italics, you can link, stuff like that. I'll let you guys play around with it. But there we go. This is our um, issue that we opened. This is our title. This is our description. Now I'm going to go ahead and assign this. So assignees is a very simple way on the right-hand side that allows you to choose specific people to tackle this problem. If you're working in a team, someone does front-end, someone does back-end, and there's a front-end issue, you would choose the front-end person as the assignee for your front-end issue. So I'm going to go ahead and select myself for now, since I'm the only person on the repository. And then you also have something called labels and labels is a very efficient way to classify your different types of issues. So this is an enhancement. So I went ahead and selected an enhancement and now that should have showed up. Uh, I guess it just takes some time. I'm going to go ahead and submit this new issue. So we have this person come to a repository. They open up this issue. Please add walnuts to your shopping list. I, as the project manager, came across this issue and I was like, oh my God, this is a fantastic idea. We have run out of walnuts. So I'm going to go to my code and I'm going to open up the shopping list of TXT and I'm going to go ahead and edit it. And inside of this, I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, this person asked for walnuts. So I'm going to go ahead and write type in walnuts. And now I'm going to go to my commit change. And over here, this is a very cool feature of GitHub. It's something known as cross linking. So the ID of our issue can be referenced inside of our commit message. So I'm going to open our issue in a new page. And if I scroll down, you can see right over here, number four. So this issue right here is the fourth issue. What I can do is I can say commit change. I have added walnuts based on number four. Okay. So what I've done now is I've referenced the number four issue by mentioning the ID number right over here. If I commit these changes, guys, I can go ahead and look at the commit message added walnuts based on the request number three. Um, I believe that should be number four. Let's go back to our code and take a look. So there we go. I've added walnuts based on number four. Fantastic. So now if I click on number four, I'm taken directly to this issue and I can see this commit that was made. I've added walnuts based on number four. However, the user who made this request was like, no, I don't want any type of walnut. I want the English walnut, very specific. So what I'm going to go ahead and do guys is I'm going to go back to my code. I'm going to open up shopping list TXT. I'm going to edit this file and I'm going to be like, okay, the person asked for English walnuts. So I'm going to say English walnuts over here. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is inside of this description, I'm going to say this fixes number four. So this is a keyword right over here called fixes. If a commit message has fixes and, a, and an issue ID, then it will automatically close the issue for us. So go ahead and hit commit changes and let's take a look. So there we go. We have now done just that. Let's go back to GitHub intro. 
This fixes number four. As you can see, if I zoom in a bit, fixes is underlined, it's a buzzword. And now what I can go ahead and do is if I click on fixes, I can see the issue that was changed. I added English instead of walnuts. And if I go to number four right now, you can see right over here, closed. So again, I can manually close it after committing, or I can put the keyword fixes inside of my issue. And now I can go ahead and see that this has been closed in 59CF242. So one last thing that I wanna show you guys is if I go to this right over here and I copy this commit message. So this commit that I just did, I wanna go ahead and mention it somewhere else. I'm gonna go back to my issues, the one that is closed, open this up, and down below, I'm gonna say, I have fixed this in, and then this commit message. So what GitHub automatically recognizes is that I've pasted a commit ID. I'm gonna go ahead and comment this, and now if someone wants to check out what commit did I actually fix this issue in, they can go ahead and select this link right over here, and it'll take them to my last commit. Anyways, that is GitHub issues in a nutshell. You can open them, assign labels to them, you can get people assigned to it and fix the issues, close them, and that's basically how you can track your various issues and enhancements in GitHub. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.